Hello everybody and welcome back to The Reset. I am C-Dubs and you guys are tuning in for yet another Tool Tips video. And in this video we're covering an ARAM build that's generally good for any marksman or ADC in League of Legends. Now essentially what the ADC or marksman does in any role or any game or any mode ever is take down enemy champions. That's your whole job, right? That's your whole premise is you're supposed to be a high damage output and be able to withstand the strength of the fight while also not getting jumped on or assassinated by the opposing team. So with that in mind, for ARAM, I like to take lethal tempo simply because it gives you a massive boost to your attack speed and what better for high damage output than an, an absolute intense burst of speed to your attack. Then once uh once you do take someone out you get triumph and what that is is that's a heap a passive heal that gets brought back onto you and it's extremely useful for whenever things get a little hot and hairy that you can sit there and you can mow them down and passively heal yourself on that healing note we also take bloodline so bloodline is essentially a passive a passively stacking rune that allows you to get lifesteal uh, attached to your attacks and you don't have to really rely on your item pool nearly as much especially in the beginning stages of the of the match you can rely on bloodline to give you the passive lifesteal you need so you can sit there and hit on minions and get your life back coup de gras now this is essentially doing more damage to anybody who is below 40 percent health extremely extremely critical when it comes to team fights because what you're looking to do is you're looking to either take out a mage or take out uh, and the opposing ADC or marksman as quickly as possible so that they don't spill out that damage onto you as well. And then you can go ahead and further your advance onto tanks and that's extremely useful against tanks considering if you get them to that 50% threshold you should be able to take them down fairly easy. And then we went ahead and put domination in the secondary tree simply because eyeball collection is going to be a great way to passively get attack damage added to your stats. Uh, basically with every kill or assist that you get you get two more points added and that's extremely effective and useful uh, when you're trying to snowball the game as fast as possible and then to top it all off we have treasure hunter because ADCs and marksmen are extremely gold hungry they are so item reliant it's not even funny so treasure hunter kind of exemplifies what you're looking for the faster you get your takedowns the faster the faster you get your passive gold the faster you can reach your late game build and really just take it to the enemy team and then for our offense and flex runes we take plus nine adaptive damage because that's going to add you basically 18 damage to start the game off at that you wouldn't get normally and then for defense i run with magic resist because normally in a ram there's a lot of ap pokey mages and they can be a real real thorn in the side and put a little bit of a damper on your plans so the AP magic resist kind of helps you negate a lot of the poke that comes through so you can life steal with your bloodline and your coup de gras throughout the rest of the match on the minions and or champions so that said that's been another tooltip video from the reset thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video